Hello, everyone. Kids, while I come down there, I would like to all to come down here as well. You know I was going to ask that, so feel free to come down. It's not that scary. Go ahead. It's okay. Huh? Kids, yes, all kids, any size, age, big, tall, everybody, don't worry, nothing scary. Oh, all right, if anybody wants to sit here, that's fine as well. <laughs> um, братья, можно попросить вас свет немножко сделать так, чтобы можно было презентацию видеть? Вот, супер. Okay, we have the bravest kids up here, awesome. We'll get the power PowerPoint, hopefully. There we are. Okay. So, um, do you guys know what a word series mean? Seria. Okay, we're gonna start a, a series. I'd like to do with you guys. And uh, what it is basically is we're gonna choose a topic. And. Um, would you guys mind if I move you over here so I can talk to those kids as well because I feel like I'm only talking to you. Is that all right? Thank you. Yeah, just like right there, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like these kids are left out and I don't want them to be feeling like that. All right, so we're going to start a series and uh, I'm going to tell you guys the topic that I chose for this series and then every time that we meet, uh, we're gonna break down that topic one bit by bit. And to start the topic off, I'm gonna start off with the story of David. You guys know who David was, right? He was the shepherd in the Bible, and the first time that he was mentioned, he was a very young um, kid, which some say he was about 16 years old. Um, he was a shepherd. He was. Um, taking care of his father's flock, the sheep, and uh, we all know how brave he was, right? I mean, the Bible tells us how there are times the, the bear or the lion comes out and snatches one of the sheep, you know, he will leave the flock. There you are. Awesome. Um, he would leave the rest of the sheep and go after the bear or the lion, and he will rip the sheep out of their claws. And, and if the lion would go up against David, you know, he would take him down, you know, the bear or a lion, and you know, he will end up killing him. Um, so he was a very brave, strong, young man, right? Um, but there's one story that we all know about, right? And that's the, the, the story of David and Goliath. And um, you remember when David first went up uh, into the army, the army of Israelites that were standing up against the Palestinian, um, he saw Goliath, and he was ready to go up against him because he wasn't afraid of him, right? And what did King Saul did? He offered him his armor. He put on all this big, massive armor on David, which who was the little guy. And in the Bible, we know that Saul was the big guy. He was taller than any Israelite that was there. They say he was a head taller than any Israelite. So he was a big guy, and David was small. So putting all of his armor on David didn't work out. David took a few steps, and he was just like, I, I can't do this. This, has, this is not going to work, right? Little David, the brave David, right? He's, he's going up against the big guy. You guys know how big Goliath was? Go ahead. Nine feet and nine inches. I, I'm a little under six feet. I'm like 5'11 or so. Goliath was like yay big. I mean, he was... He was a big guy, and David was just a little kid, but he was a brave guy. David was very brave, and the reason why he was brave is because he had a different type of armor on him, and the type of armor that Goliath didn't know about, he had the invisible armor, and this is the topic that I want to talk to you guys about, the invisible armor of David. This is the armor that every Christian has. It's called the armor of God. 
And we read about the armor of God in Ephesians. It's a letter that Paul writes to the Ephesians. And as we read, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of the wickedness, the wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil, evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, stand firm, therefore, having gird your loins with the truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, take up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, you see, there's a lot to this armor, right? There's just like, there's... Um, the belt of truth, there's the breastplate of, of righteousness, the, sh the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, right? There's a sword of spirit, which is the word of God, right? There's like the, all this list that I would like to go over with you guys. And uh, before we get into that next time, why, why do we need this, all this armor? It's a very good question, right? Well, if we go back, it says right on the bottom, to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So there, there is a force that every Christian is up against in the world. And that force is the evil force of Satan, right? Now, in order to stand up against Satan, we have to have this armor of God. You can't just stand up against Satan with kind of like what Saul did, give his, put on his armor and try to go up against Goliath. It's not going to work. You know, we have to have the armor of God. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about with this series. And next time when we get together, we're going to talk about the truth of bell, the bell truth. What is it? Why do we need it? What's, what does it do for us? And I hope next time you guys come along as well. And how many of you have friends that are not here today? You have, you have. Awesome. Next time when you guys come, invite them over as well. It's going to be very interesting. All right? Thank you very much.